to reach the town. This is a real fight, Chris Bell. Time to use your new skills. Be swift, be precise. First, select attack, and then choose your target. Finally, just as the attack connects, press the button one more time to do a double slash. Very good, Chris Bell. Be cautious. Watch for your opponent's attack and press the button right when they hit you to block most of the damage. Nicely done. Now give it your all. Finish it off. Well done, Chris Bell, but I am afraid our work is not done here. you supposed to be? Hello, my name is... Tell me if we survive. You know how to fight? Let us show him. Not bad. I'm Christopher, by the way. Two less of them. Been chasing those things since I left St. Clarity. We've got to stop them before they reach town. And exactly how do you plan to do that? Hold your ground. They won't get past us. Look, Volcano. They broke our poor goblins. How adorable. Can we keep them? Galley, we've talked about this. No more pets until... Until I stop murdering them. I know, I know. I just want to play. Not my fault they're all so squishy. <laughs> and that's why we can't have nice things. It didn't work. We can't touch them. Even a scratch? We can't take much more of this. Chris Bell, it is time. Use the crystals. The crystals? My rose! Chris Bell! Chris Bell! Where are you? Chris Bell! I'd better not keep her waiting. Did you prune the roses yet? I'm sorry, Mother Superior. It's just my rose. He... the frog. He took it. Enough. Enough. I've seen that look before. 
find that rose, then hurry back. There's work to do and no time to waste. Go on. Yes, Mother Superior. Thank you, Mother Superior. And be careful. I worry about you. I miss your grandma, Chris. And how it used to be around here. If I pick every strawberry right now, maybe I won't have to do it ever again. These just bloomed yesterday. If I take extra care of them today, they'll be even prettier tomorrow. Chores. The kids in town get to go out and play. I have to get my rose back. A lovely day for a walk in the woods. Chris Bell, what's the hurry? Good morning, Marco. Have you seen a little yellow frog? A frog? Well, sure. Maybe wearing a top hat? Carrying a rose? A top hat? Then no. Maybe try the mayor's estate. There's always something going on there. I'll try. Thanks, Marco. Sorry to bother you. Are you kidding? That's the most interesting thing I'll hear all day! I still have... Check out the cool sticker we found! It's a skull! Check out the cool... He will inherit this one day. He should help me take care of it. Why would someone do this? and all that. I have to get my rose back. I still... Think about the future! It's not just the farms that'll be renovated. It's the orphanage, the shops, the whole town. Your future fouls the land, poisons the water. Goblin raiding parties are burning our fields. Money, power, your precious industry. That's all you care about now. How dare you? Where's your proof? Proof? Look around you. Look at our crops. Then sell your lands, Robert. Don't let it trouble you any longer. It's what's best for the town. It's best for someone, but not the town. You seem to be doing just fine. Now, see here, I never... Mr. Mayor, we have a visitor. Hello, Chris Bell. What do you want? Hello, Miss Lana. I was looking for a yellow frog with a top hat. Of course you were. Try the northern fields. That's where all the little pests go, hmm? 
May the lady light your way, Crispo. Too many in town have strayed from her grace. Oh, thank you. I should go. Still here? Run along now. Secretary Lana told me to go check out the farms. I don't think she was serious about it, but it's still worth a shot. Chris, between the crops, the monsters, the weather, it never ends. I just saw your dad with the mayor. They seemed really angry. Again? I keep telling him to trust the mayor. We need his soldiers to protect us. But it's always, we give the lady our trust. Everyone else has to earn it. Sorry, Chris. What's up? I'm looking for a little yellow frog. He was wearing a hat. A top hat. He took my rose. A frog in a top hat? Only you, Chris Bell. I haven't seen it, but I'll keep my eyes open. Thanks, Polly. Maybe I should pray to the lady about it. <laughs> you have been talking to my father. Well, if you're looking for a miracle, I suppose the cathedral is as good a place as any to try. If Mother Superior finds out I've come here alone... Actually, you are. You have opened the crystals of time, Crispell. <laughs> Where? I mean, who? How do you know my name? So many questions. Matthias the Frog at your service. I have been keeping an eye on you for some time now. On me? Why? I suspected you had been chosen, my dear. It appears I was correct. Chosen? By whom? What are these crystals? Why me? 
More questions. The past and the future have revealed themselves to you. Come, see for yourself. I can't! I don't want this! Nothing to fear, child. You have much to learn about your powers. Powers? This is a curse! Why is this even happening? You're upset. Perfectly understandable. But I know someone who can help. He lives in a little hut down by the lake. Leave town? Mother Superior will worry. She would be very worried if she saw you like this. Is it another talking frog? If only. But sadly, no. Trust me, little one. Let us go immediately. Just a little further. We are almost there. Here we are. He lives just over there in that hut. Perhaps you should let me do the talking. It feels warm to the touch. child we have important business matthias huh. idiot frog you're a child manners you're speaking to a revered time mage now who might you be crispell um sir Crispell has opened both crystals of time. Ridiculous. Impossible. Why not even I have been able to? Yet it has happened. No. No, no, no. There's something else at work here. Can someone please tell me what's going on? Patience. I am Wilhelm the Wise. You, it seems, are a time age. As am I. And while my powers have led to my youthful appearance, yours are the gift to see possibility. Possibility? I thought it was the future. Incorrect. It is a possible future. Perhaps a practical demonstration will help. Take this seed and plant it over there. What do you see in the future? A tree. It's growing from the seed I planted. Exactly. A glow fruit tree to be specific. But take care. It will only grow if you care for it. Otherwise, it will wither and die. So if I do something in the present, I can affect the future. Obviously. Has that not always been the case? Now, however, you have the ability to see future possibilities, so choose your actions accordingly. I should use this to check up on Mother Superior and my sisters. They'll be wondering where I've gone. Thank you, Wilhelm. Yes, yes, go to your sisters. 
You've given me much to ponder, young mage. This is where I planted the seed Wilhelm gave me. I should get back to Mother Superior. She must be worried. child did something happen no i mean not yet i went to get my rose then matthias showed me how i could matthias yes he he was just here i need to find him <laughs> at least give me the rose you spent all morning looking for y yes mother superior now go find your friend and don't take all day. You still have to prune these roses. Matthias? Matthias? I thought it best not to upset your mother superior with the appearance of a talking frog. Oh. Crispell? I am sorry if I upset you by leaving. No, I mean, yes, but it's the orphanage. I saw its future. Abandoned. Empty. How could that happen? I do not know, but let us look around town. Perhaps your new powers can shed light on this. What a lovely day for a walk in the woods. Hey, Chris, if you see my mom, don't tell her where I am, okay? It looks like me. It does. Interesting. I do not believe in coincidences, Chris Bell, especially when there is a time mage involved. It looks like... It does. I do not... Did you find your frog, Crispell? If not, you're welcome to look around here. unfortunate unfortunate the millers are homeless without the apothecary the town has no medicine only in the future and only if you let it happen if I let it happen but no you're right Ooh. 
Why would someone do this? Um, excuse me. I think your shop has rot problems. I don't have time to worry about that right now. If you want to talk rot, talk to the carpenter over to the west. Yeah, yeah, good morning, I guess. Can you help me? There's a problem with the houses. A problem? Great. What did you see, girl? They're rotting away from the inside. In a few years, there won't be anything left. You saw rot on the inside. From the outside? Neat trick. Sounds like someone's been telling you stories about Ash Blight. Happened back when I was a kid. Would have lost most of the town if the old apothecary hadn't brewed up a batch of green leaf tonic. Can you make some? Do I look like an apothecary? Go ask June. She's the one who knows about this stuff. Charming fellow. Why would someone do this? This will take forever to sort out. Excuse me, I was wondering if you could help me. You and half the town? No, no, I can't. Someone tore the label off of my mushrooms. That sounds bad. Bad? It's terrible. One of these is red button. Good for digestion, great on a salad. One of them is ground death cap. Even the tiniest bit could be deadly. An important distinction, wouldn't you agree? Of course, with no labels, it's impossible to tell them apart. Can't you just throw them out and make some more? Sure, of course. It would take weeks to find the mushrooms, days to prepare them. I don't have time to redo it all. My father used to do all of that. He bottled and labeled them years ago. I'm sorry. I wish I could help. Me too. It'd be nice to have help around here. Since Dad died, though. I try to keep everything the way he left it. But there are only so many hours in the day. Sorry, I've got to get back to work. No wonder she's upset. They all look alike. I suppose they do. Let me try something. Ugh, I can't see them in the past at all. Allow me. Just a... Ah, there. Well, this one has a skull on it. I imagine this is the death cap. That sticker. I saw it today. Some kids were playing with one. Check out the cool sticker we found. It's a skull. You took that from June's. Do you know what you've done? It's only a sticker. You can't just take things from stores. Especially not the apothecary. Some of her ingredients could be dangerous. Sorry, Chris. This is as much proof as we are likely to get. Miss June, we found your label. It goes on the bottle with the red lid. Where did you find it? Some kids took it. They just thought it was a cool skull sticker. I don't think they meant any harm. Of course they didn't. <sighs> Would 
What's done is done. I'll talk to their parents about this later. Thank you, Chris Bell. I really appreciate all you've done. This might be a good time to ask her about the tonic. Chris Bell, was there something you needed? Yes. Do you know how to make green leaf tonic? Of course. Unfortunately, I don't have any glow fruit in stock. It's very rare and it doesn't keep. Not many uses for it, but it's essential for green leaf tonic. Is there any glow fruit near Nareen? Maybe I can find some. I wouldn't get your hopes up, but ask Magda by the cathedral. She knows the plants in the area. You might get lucky. any glow fruit growing nearby? Miss June thought you might. They used to grow by the lake, but I haven't seen one in ages. The seed you planted for Willow, it was glow fruit. I'm sorry, dear. If you find one, let me know. They're beautiful, glowing purple and orange. And they only bloom every 10 years or so. Really lovely. Thank you, Mrs. Magda. That's just what I need. Mrs. Magda said I could find some glow fruit near the lake. I planted, but the fruit is going to take forever to grow. Then perhaps we should skip ahead, or rather, I will. Here it is. Now to bring it back to Crispin. Much, though. It will have to do. Let us go see the apothecary. a minute here you go there's enough only for one dose but it's free of charge thank you well I finally have the green leaf tonic I thought you would be happier what is it Chris Bell there's only enough to fix one house what can I do ah yes even with the crystals there's only so much you can do to help it appears you must make a decision. How, oh, Matthias? No matter what I choose, one of the houses will be ruined. You are a time mage, Chris Bell. Decisions such as this, they will not be uncommon. I have one tonic and two houses to save. How do I know what the right choice is?
have one tonic and two houses to save. How do I know what the right choice is? Matias says it'll upset Mother Superior. Spell. What can I do for you, dear? It's your shop. It has an ash blight infection. Ash blight? Why would you think that? I overheard the carpenter talking. He thinks a number of buildings could be affected. How awful. I remember my father telling me stories about ash blight. He said it came from a spore that grew near the farms, that it spread on the wind after the big fires. Well, no time to waste. We don't have much green leaf tonic, but perhaps I can find another solution. Thank you again, Chris Bell. You're welcome, June. I'm glad I was able to help someone. Crispell, look! Do you see how your actions have affected the future? I suppose. But what about the Millers? Where will they live? One problem at a time, little one. Remember, most of the town remains unchanged. And we're no closer to finding out what happens to the orphanage. We have more immediate issues to deal with. Look! Smoke! The farms are on fire! That's what brought Ashblade to Nareen the last time! We've got to go! Crispell, wait! It can't be too late! It can't be! Crispell, get out of here! It's goblins! They've torched the fields! Run, girl. There's nothing you can do here. I can help! Just let me! Don't be foolish. Let the soldiers do their work. And pray they're up to the task. He is right, Chris Bell. The crystals won't be enough. Quickly, we must see Wilhelm again. Again? What is it now, Time Mage? Goblins are attacking the farms. We've got to do something. Matthias said you could help. Did he? He's right, I suppose. With your talent and my training, perhaps in a few years. Years? The goblins are attacking now! Patience! You're a Time Mage. Try to act like one. We are out of options. There is no other choice. Give her the sword, Wilhelm. Ridiculous! The sword is much too powerful for a novice. The strain would be too much. It is the only way. We have no time to spare. Fine. If the girl is everything you believe, she may well survive. It doesn't matter. I'll do it. Very well. This should be interesting.
You've done it! More and more interesting. The sword! So much power! I can feel it moving through me! And just in time! Quickly, Crispell! The goblins! But Mother Superior! My friends! I have to protect them! Go! I'll look after them! Meet us at the cathedral! We'll be safe here! Now go! Thank you, Wilhelm. Now that you have this, you should now be. If we survive, you know how to fight? Let us show him. <laughs> not bad. No Christopher, by the way. Two less of them. Been chasing those things since I left St. Clarity. We've got to stop them before they reach town. And exactly how do you plan to do that? Hold your ground. They won't get past us. Look, Volcano. They broke our poor goblins. How adorable. Can we keep them? Galley, we've talked about this. No more pets until... Until I stop murdering them, I know, I know. I just want to play. Not my fault they're all so squishy. <laughs> and that's why we can't have nice things. They did something to our shield. Some stupid rust. <laughs> Who cares?
get a little. Hear me. No, why? I wanna. Enough. The Empress will want to hear of this. Go. Fine. Anton, now do you see? Look what you've done. What I've done? You think I brought these monsters to Nareem? I know this was your way of getting the farm. You wanted this land for your industrialization project. This was all you. Everything I do is for the future of Nareem. For your daughter's future. I would never put anyone at risk. Mayor Anton, if I may divert our focus, this was clearly set up by an unknown party. And on that topic, tell me, Crispell, where did you get that strange sword? Miss Lana, this was a gift from Mr. Wilhelm and Matthias. Oh? And who are these strangers you seem to know so well? What do they want with Nareem? Is it possible? Did they set this up? And are you part of their scheme? Miss Lana, no! We were just trying to help! Enough! Guards, seize her and the shielded fellow! We'll lock them up until we can extract a confession! We have to go. Now! To the cathedral. Wilhelm said he'd meet us there. You made it! You really were able to wield that sword. Well done! And, as promised, your friends are here. In fact, your mother superior... Crisbell! Is that you? Oh, thank the lady. Mother Superior, I'm so sorry. Shh, dear. Your interesting new friend here has told us a great deal already. I won't claim to understand all of this, but you're safe. That's all that matters. Safe? Maybe for now. She won't stop with Marie. The Empress will keep building up her armies. That monster won't let anything stop her. The Empress? The Empress of Time. A formidable foe, and far beyond our current capabilities. And those idiots in town are too busy pointing fingers to see who saved their worthless skins. Run from her if you want. I'll go myself if I... Enough! Don't be stupid, boy. You'll need all the help you can get. Which means, I suppose, that I'll be going as well. Going? I can't leave. The orphanage. My family. No harm will come to your sisters, dear. Not while I live. Do you see the three faces of the lady? Portrayed in the cathedral stained glass? Those images foretell a prophecy, a legend which has been safeguarded through the ages. The lady spoke of a girl that would open time itself. A girl that would be able to see into our past as well as the future. I believe that girl is you, my sweet Crisbell. But I'm no one special. I. You are special, my dear. More than you could possibly know. Go to the cathedrals and seek out the other mother's superior. They will help guide you. I know you've always wanted to find your mother, to learn more about your history. Perhaps this is your chance. Your grandmother often spoke of Crystallis. Perhaps the answer lies there. 
Matthias? Where did he go? He's slippery, that one. Even for a frog. He'll turn up soon. Count on it. The soldiers will be here soon. Quickly, girl! I... Fine. I'll go. But I'll return. I promise. You'd better. Those roses still need pruning. Don't think I've forgotten. Now get moving. Merciful lady, watch over my Crisbel. Guide her, shield her, comfort her, for she has a long road ahead. And when she is finished, O oh great lady, take her gently in your arms and bear her home. Be safe, dear girl. There's another cathedral in St. Clarity. Perhaps we should try going there next. Just like this one, it's watched over by one of the Mother's Superior. It has another of those stained glass murals as well. Perhaps there's some connection with your powers. St. Clarity, huh? I guess I knew this day was coming. The path to get there is through the forest east of my house. Let's get moving. where I... It would appear we got rid of our pursuers. Perhaps we can set up camp here tonight and recover our strength. Marvelous teamwork, everyone! If we didn't need to run, I could have defeated them all if the rest of you hadn't stopped me. I mean, I... Uh, what's wrong with Chris Bell? I'm tired and I feel strange. I don't know anything about my family, or my history, or my power, or... Or any of it. And now I've left all my friends and... Christopher, wasn't it? Her whole life was just turned upside down. So maybe we should just let her be. Chris Bell, I know you want to help everyone back home. But to do that, you and I are going to have to develop your powers. How's a kid like you gonna teach her anything? Wilhelm had the courage to help us escape. We owe him our thanks. You will find it to be a great mistake to judge a mage by his appearance. But for right now, we need to rest. We will have plenty of new problems to face in the morning. Yes. Why did you leave St. Clarity? to avenge my brother, Aiden. He died in the fight against the Empress. I promised myself that, just like him, I wouldn't let anyone else die. I had been searching around, looking for clues. One of them led me to Narim. Some goblins had been sighted near here, and I knew from experience they were part of the Empress's army. I decided to take care of them myself. 
Aiden was my hero. But he got caught up in this stupid conflict. Sometimes I wonder if by fighting back I'm just prolonging the war and helping to create more tragedies like him. I'm... I'm sorry to hear that. He sounds like he was a brave man. Christel, there's something important I need to teach you about. What is it, Professor? Professor? Don't call me that. How about teacher? Master? Master? No! Just call me Wilhelm. I can't do that. It feels too weird calling my magic teacher by his first name. It seems somehow disrespectful. Well, if you must call me something, call me... Maestro, I suppose. I am something of a virtuoso when it comes to time magic. Maestro? If you must. Well, anyway, I want you to have these. Seeds? Are these like the seeds we planted before? They're much more important. Time mages can use them to revert to an earlier state when things go wrong. It's a little hard to explain, but you'll understand it when you see it. Okay, I'll take your word for it, maestro. Right. You'll be glad you did. Trust me. You can try it out on that patch of dirt over there. Wait! I almost forgot! Marbles? You'll need to purchase supplies. I believe we can trust you with our funds. And last, but not least... I trust you'll be careful on this journey. But if things go awry, don't hesitate to use one of these. Perhaps you should try planting that seed like Wilhelm suggested. What should I do? I want to record our progress. <laughs> 